Shalom. I would like to give our unenduring praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakodash. I would like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders, Great Millstone. Salutations to our sister Akim, pushing this word out across the four corners of the world. Just another news update through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And I have an article from Newsweek.com, and it says U.S. headed for massive layoffs. Economist. And this was published on July the 28th, 2022. Before I get that, let's get right quick. Isaiah 34 and 16. And it says, Seek ye out of the book of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and read, which is the Holy Bible, the Holy Scriptures. No one of these shall fail, meaning the biblical prophecies. All those prophetic visions that the Heavenly Father Yahweh through his only begotten son Yahweh Shai gave to his holy prophets. What was going to be fall within these latter days, especially concerning America, known as Babylon the Great, according to the Holy Scriptures. Where we are in those times, we are witnessing a severe economic decline in our last captivity. So no one of these should fail, none should want her mate, meaning any other book within this world cannot compare to the Holy Scriptures, the Holy Bible. And what sets apart the Holy Bible from amongst these other books is the spirit of prophecy. And when you read in Revelation 19, chapter 10, verse, it says, For the testimony or the witness of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Because our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, comes in the volume of the book. And that's only referring to the Holy Bible. So going back to this article, it says, U.S. headed for massive layoffs, economists. Economist Peter Schiff predicted that the U.S. is headed for massive layoffs as a second consecutive quarter of gross domestic product, GDP, the climb pushed the U.S. into recession under a common but unofficial definition. Schiff made the prediction in a Twitter post Thursday, noting how the current state of the labor market has often been cited by those who disagree that the U.S. is in or headed for a recession. The Dems claim that we are not in a recession because unemployment is still low, Schiff tweeted. But weekly jobless claims continue to rise and mass layoffs are coming. In the meantime, even though most workers still have their jobs, they have all suffered huge pay cuts as a result of inflation. And as you know, inflation is the general increase in prices and the fall in the purchasing value of money. And in this case, the world reserve currency, the American dollar or the Federal Reserve note. And it says GDP, which measures the nation's total output of goods and services, declined at an annualized pace of 0.9% in the second quarter, the Commerce Department said Thursday. The first quarter of the year had a GDP decline of 1.6%, a commonly held definition holds that two consecutive quarters of GDP decline constitute a recession, meaning that the U.S. is now in one. So that's definitely confirmed right there that the U.S. is now in a recession which means a downtrend or downturn in the economy that can affect the production, employment, produce lower household income and spending. However, only a committee of economists at the National Bureau of Economic Research can officially declare the U.S. to be in a recession. It has yet to do so. Other factors like the labor market are taken into account when the MBER makes this assessment. Schiff told Newsweek that he thinks the U.S. economy has been in recession for the whole year, but a lot of companies have kind of been reluctant to admit that. Companies generally don't want to just start laying people off, especially if they're kind of optimistic, even if things are getting a little weaker, he said. There's a lot of costs involved in hiring workers and training workers. Businesses will kind of hold on to them for a while, even if there's a downturn. Speaking about the third quarter of 2022, Schiff said it's pretty obvious that the economy is in a recession and the recession is going to get worse, which means a lot of companies that were kind of holding on to their workers because they had a more optimistic view of the future are going to have a more realistic view and I think they are going to be layoffs. And just to highlight this point, how they had a more optimistic view of the future are going to have a more realistic view and that's true. And that's really the mindset of the mass majority of these modern Babylonians. Having that hopeful, positive, look on the bright side of things spirit and really not observing the times. Where you have besides the true prophets that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah set up within these last days, but also you have these top economists 
these different insiders that are aware of this engineered global reset, warning the people that all hell is going to break loose within this society. And that's due to this engineered global supply chain crisis. Whereas the inflation is going to intensify into a hyperinflation and the recession is going to intensify into an economic depression, which is on a whole different level. So all that wishful thinking that things will return back to normal is going to come to a abrupt end. But let's get that right quick in Jeremiah, the 51st chapter, starting verse 8. It says, Babylon is suddenly falling and destroyed. That's referring to America. How for her, take bomb for her pain. If so be, she may be healed. And a bomb is something like a healing ointment. And that can be synonymous how they keep circulating this Federal Reserve notes out here. And it's only decreasing the purchasing value while causing a general increase in the prices, which they are hurting financially the everyday American consumer. And another example for a tape bomb for a pay that can be synonymous into issuing out these stimulus checks. You're trying to stimulate the economy, but you're putting the American consumer into more financial straits. So it's no type of healing ointment or aid or any type of bandage that you can put over the wounds of this economic depression that we're about to get ready to face. It's already predestined thousands of years ago that this place was going to fall. So Babylon is suddenly falling and destroyed. How for her? Take bond for her pain. If so be, she may be healed. And according to biblical prophecies, she's not going to be healed. That's like putting a bandage on a corpse. Like it makes no sense. Verse 9. We will have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country. And this is speaking about these heathen nations currently residing in America, where you're going to have a mass exodus of these heathen nations returning back to their homelands. And let us go everyone into his own country for her judgment reaching unto heaven. And at least so with Revelation 18 and 5. For her sins referring to America, that great whore, have reached unto heaven and Yahweh by Shemal Shah have remembered her iniquities. So Yahweh by Shemal Shah are being constantly reminded, first and foremost, by the angelic powers, these angels who are the ministers of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah, as it says that the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. So they're reporting all the wicked deeds and transgressions that's taken upon this earth. And also you have the Most High's ground troops referring to the Holy Prophets who are signed and crying for all the abominations done in the midst thereof. So our cries are constantly being reminded to Yahweh by Shema Rashad. As it says, give him no risk. So for her judgment reaching unto heaven and it's lifted up even to the skies. Okay, so back to the article it says, he pointed out the inflation, which in June had its largest year over year gain since 1981, has been eating away at workers' paychecks. A graph released by Statista last month showed that U.S. inflation had been outpacing wage increases for more than a year, meaning that many Americans can afford less now than they could before. Once layoffs begin, Schiff said some Americans will go from seeing a partial pay cut because of inflation to a full cut if they lose their jobs. Even those who are able to keep their jobs will still be affected by the elevated costs, he added. So concerning biblical prophecies, it's about to be a severe drop in the economic activity, which means that's going to lead into a significant amount of jobless claims. Which takes me to the prophecy in Isaiah 19 and 15. Neither should there be any work for Egypt. And this spiritual Egypt is referring to America, which the head or tail branch or rush may do. And this leads up with Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter. It says the sound of the grinding is low, meaning no work. It's about to be a huge decrease within the work labor force. Massive job layoffs. And what does it say again in Isaiah 34 and 16? Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read, and none of these shall fail. So the prophecies of Yahweh by Shemal Shah are being shown more vividly to the hopeful elect within these last days. The end of an age. All right, jumping back to the article, it says, Once layoffs begin, Shiv said, some Americans will go from seeing a partial pay cut because of inflation to a full cut if they lose their jobs. Even those who are able to keep their jobs will still be affected by the elevated costs, he added. 
This is going to be a brutal recession, he said. I think it's going to be more of a depression by the time it's over. So through the spirit, I explain what a recession is. So yeah, how about Shemal Shah is going to intensify things within Babylon the Great? So concerning the economy of America, it's in a recession mode, but it's going to be intensified into a depression, which is way more severe than a recession. And I was looking more into the definition of economic depression, and it goes into a sustained decline in economic activity, which you will have a negative gross domestic product growth and a very high rise in unemployment, poverty, homelessness. So with that type of vibration that's going on within America, what is going to be the state of the people that's not governed by Yahweh by Hashem on the right hand side? It's going to lead into civil disorder, civil unrest, anarchy. So it's about to be very chaotic within the streets of America. And that takes me to 2nd Ezra 15, starting at verse 12. And it says, Egypt shall mourn. And again, that's referring to America. The state of these people are going to be in a sorrowful, pitiful case. And when you read Ecclesiastes the 12 chapter, it says, those that look out of the windows shall be darkened. Meaning these people are going to be in a state of despair, hopelessness, sorrowful and regretful. This is the burden of Egypt. And it says, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that Yahweh Bashim al shall bring upon it. So your foundation goes into your establishment. Think about the establishment of America how it got so-called discovered. It was by violence. And when you read Revelation, the 18th chapter and 21st verse, it says, thus with violence should a great city Babylon be thrown down. It should be found no more at all. And that's going to be by fire, by the weapons of the Most High's in the nation, those nuclear missiles. And also when Yahweh returns back with the heavenly hosts, the angels, they're going to bring fire upon this place as well. Verse 13, they that till the ground shall mourn, according to these farmers, the future of farming is in crisis. So a lot of them are quitting right now due to this engineered global supply chain crisis. For their seed shall fail through the blasting of hell and with a fearful constellation. Verse 14, woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Verse 15, for the sword and their destruction draw it nigh, and one people should stand up and fight against another and swords in their heads. And this is going into the class wars, the race wars that's going to take place within America. Verse 16, for there should be sedition among men, meaning insurrection, civil uprising, social disorder. So for there should be sedition among men and invading one another, they should not regard their kings nor princes in the course of the actions should stand in their power. So these everyday American workers or just people within America who are really catching hell from these economic woes are going to get fed up and they're really going to show opposition to these local authorities because they're not going to be able to get their hands upon these international bankers who are really the puppeteers within this society that are really pulling the strings with this engineered inflation but they're going to put their hands upon these local government officials because they feel like they have sold them out and rightfully so which takes me back to the title of this article U.S. headed for massive layoffs, economists. And I came across another article. It was concerning the automakers, how they've been struggling to get back to the level of business like pre-COVID days. And that's due to the global supply chain disruptions. So this ongoing supply chain crisis is causing a downturn in vehicle sales. And that's going to lead into more massive layoffs. So everywhere you turn within this society, either spiritually, morally, economically, and very soon physically, you can see that this place, America, is circling the drain. And call Halayim, Yahweh Bashim, I was for that. So, Abarat Desai, you always edify, you all stay strong, keep pushing forward. Shalom.